in or out, we got a couple topics teed up. Dave, Megan, and I are all gonna weigh in and we are gonna see if we are in or out. First up, Christmas Day. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody, uh, especially the, whoever, uh, AEG, which owns the stadium, the arena now is known as the Staples Center, but starting Christmas Day under an agreement that is going to raise, it's gonna bring in $700 million US of revenue over the life of the agreement. I think it's a 20 year agreement. Uh, that arena will become known as the crypto.com arena because cryptocurrency is coming for some reason and is gaining popularity and is becoming mainstream. Megan McPeak, are you in or out on the cryptocurrency folks uh, throwing around their, we think their type of money in the sports world? It's always going to be known as a stable center. Kobe <laughs> built that place. That's it. It will, it will, just like it will always be known as Air Canada Center. It will always be known as Maple Leaf Gardens. It will always be known as the Sky Dome, like Georgia Dome. Like, come on. <laughs> it's, it's always going to be known as Staples Center. Kobe, Kobe literally and Shaq built that building. Mm -hmm. It will never not be known as anything else. Um, I mean, hey, if they want to throw their uh, currency, form of currency, whatever <laughs> choice they have, because what do we like? You know what I mean? Is it money? Is it is it crypto? Like, how do they how are they paying for the seven hundred million dollars? Is it going to be in crypto? Um, this is what we're going to get to. Go ahead. That's a good uh, point, I am, you raise. I am in on money being in sports because it means more opportunities, more jobs for people. Um, I'm out on the fact that they've changed the name and conveniently, I mean, smart play by them Christmas day, the Lakers will be playing on Christmas day games. And that is the day that the name gets changed. So well played by them. <laughs> Very well played. Dave Zyron, what do you say in or out on, uh, the crypto crypto crew throwing their money around in sports? Oh, I'm so out. It's ridiculous. I mean, look, I'm all for money in sports as well. But if this crypto company still has $700 million in 20 years to pay the Los <laughs> Angeles Lakers, please, that, that, that is, that is, I'll glad you, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Uh, <laughs> at economics, because if this crypto stuff is still around in 20 years, then call me wrong. I'll admit that I'm wrong, but I see this as a repeat of when the Houston Astros decided to call their stadium Enron Field. And that was the most <laughs> of the last 20 years. That didn't go very far. Now they're Minute Maid Park because they decided that orange juice was a staple that would actually be there. Pardon right. the question with staple, but um, but you know, orange juice is something that was a commodity that would exist yep. for decades. So they went with a cheaper go with Minute Maid Park, so they wouldn't be embarrassed again by going with a company that was going to go belly up. So we'll see if there's a repeat of that. But I'll say it again: if they're still writing checks, crypto.com, whatever the hell it is, if they're still writing checks in 20 years, <laughs> then you know, shame on me. I guess I just missed the boat on this one, like that time I invested in Betamax. Uh, that's the <laughs> way it goes. Well, yeah, and listen, far be listen. I'm not an economist. I'm not a money expert. Like sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Money does not stick to me. But oh, like look, the bills are paid. But and I'm not calling cryptocurrency a Ponzi scheme, right? <laughs> However, <laughs> but. <laughs> I just don't know whatever what other type of parallel to draw between this and anything else where the only value of it comes from convincing other people to buy in after you and then getting those people to convince other people to buy in after them like this is how a pure ponzi scheme works this is very much how like multi-level marketing works but multi-level marketing is not illegal because you are you have like a little business you're selling goods but it's still hey you can you can sell herbalife or you can become a distributor and you can recruit other distributors so like cryptocurrency kind of feels the same way and so it, these different cryptocurrencies that have a dollar value, whatever this dollar value is, but again, it all depends on getting somebody to give you that dollar value. So, and in the end, you have the money and they have the cryptocurrency and they got to look for somebody else to give them that cryptocurrency. Because if this cryptocurrency in and of itself was that valuable, they wouldn't be paying US dollars for these <laughs> sponsorship deals. They would say, hey, yeah. why don't we just give you a bunch of Ethereum? And uh, AEG would be like, sure, we'll take it. So yeah, I'm... <laughs> Guys, 
crypto bros listen have fun while it lasts i have already missed the boat and i'm comfortable having missed the cryptocurrency boat that's fine just like i'm not buying into any other uh ponzi scheme or mlm what's happening dave no just, just that like if this was any other stock of value or something say let's call it widgets and yep. you or i were like widgets that, that's a joke that's a ponzi scheme you know the normal reaction in a sane economy would be for people to say good i'm glad you don't like widgets more widgets for me but yes. in this case we if we say crypto i don't know about that people are going to descend and be like how dare you speak out against crypto because anybody who dares puncture the crypto bubble is almost by definition helping to devalue it because yes. it all exists in the mind not in the actuality and the physical so you know that that's my take on it. that's why i'm saying it's like good for the lakers it gets a lot of publicity it's going to inject a ton of money short term into the operation but you know if genie bus thinks this is going to last 20 years shoot she's got a better chance of re-upping with phil i think